Hey there, it's me, Sharon Hable, with today's Focus on Style Quick Tip. The difference between an elevator pitch and a bio. Now this trips a lot of entrepreneurs up because as entrepreneurs, all these marketing gurus kind of teach you to say something to the effect of I help blank do blank so that they can blank. So in my case, it would be like I help women entrepreneurs look the best they can so they can show up like a success and earn and deserve six-figure paydays or they can look like a success or they can be on message so they can make the most money they can or that kind of blah 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 stuff but my bio would be Sharon Haver is an accomplished stylist with over three decades of experience ranging from New York photo stylist syndicated columnist to starting focus on style as a bootstrapping entrepreneur in 1999 she has appeared on she has been quoted in she has blah 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 see the difference so when someone is in media they want to see your real bio. Those are hard facts. Those aren't opinions. When someone is looking to hire you as a client, they want your little quickie elevator pitch as I do this to help that so that they can blah, blah. So that's the difference. So you should always have both. And it's probably a good idea to string them all together for a lot of circumstances too. So you can start with your little elevator pitch and then you can add your hard fact bio underneath it. But you should know the difference and you should always have both on hand, especially if you're being called for an interview. See you in the next Focus on Style. Bye,